Hello everyone, uh, this is Abhiral and today we are going to discuss about how to create a Gerber file and NCDL file from LTM designer. Yeah. So these are the manufacturer file and we will provide this file to the manufacturer for the designing. Okay. So what we need to do next is go to the LTM designer and uh, just whatever the project like you want to create the Gerber file and NCDL file just open that project and just go to the PCB doc file of that particular project. Yeah. So where you have created the uh, the, uh, the layout of the design using the footprint of the different components okay so just go to the, the pcb doc file so and uh, what we need to do next we need to just go to the file there is an option which is the fabrication output and there is an another option which is the gerber files just click on the gerber files so yeah so just a window of a pop up on the item designer so here uh, like there are uh, two things we need to select the first one is the unit and the second one is the format a format is the basically a resolution of the Gerber file whatever you will going to create so like uh, like when we increase the 4 is to 4 4 cross 3 4 to 4 cross 2 so it will like higher resolution right so like you can also see in the like follow my cursor in case of 4.3 it is the 1 micro mm of resolution in case of 4 cross uh, 4 is to 4 has a 0.1 micro mm resolution right so as we increase the this uh, like ratio uh, from uh, top to down it will increase the resolution so it like before selecting the resolution you need to just uh, discuss this with the uh, manufacturer like either this they support this particular uh, resolution or not okay so in my case it is uh, 4 is to 4 resolution and the dimension in millimeters okay now just select the next step which is the layers so here we need to select the all of the layers so what uh, what i will do i will do every time just click on this plot layers and there is an option which is the used on just select on this so so, so it will uh, like automatically tick all the layers which are used in the this particular pcb right now select the next option which is the drill drawing so here we need to like uh, we, we we don't need to any like changes in the this particular uh, tab i right? just leave it as default as, as it is right now sec sec the uh, th uh, like the fourth one is the aperture so like aperture is also like uh, al already like there is a ful fulfilled which is uh, according to the uh, layout you have designed the next one is the advanced setting yeah so it is already selected the, these dimension are filled during that time of designing right so in case you have designed uh, anything wrong right so then you need to like uh, change the dimension otherwise it is auto aut uh, like automatically filled and uh, correct according to your designing okay so now what we need to do we need to just click on the ok button yeah so it is creating the Gerber file as, as you can see in my screen so there are lots of layer now the cam file is open so that means our Gerber file is created and what we need to do next we need to just uh, go to the uh, go to that uh, the project project where we have, we have saved and there is a folder al already created project output for PCA005 full CB, like whatever the project name, uh, like whatever it is, right? So there, he, there is a lots of layer, uh, like what I have used in the project. So my project is basically a four layer PCB. So this is the, like all the layers which are, I have selected. Like, so we have successfully created the Java file. Now what we need to do, we need to create the NCDL file. So like then go, what we need to do, we need to just go to the PCB doc file again, go to the file and there is an option which is a fabrication output as we have already selected and uh, there is an another option in the fabrication output which is an ncdl file just click on that ncdl file yeah so there is a like we we need to select the unit and the format as same as as we have selected in the Java file so in my case it is mm and 4 is to 4 in your case it may be different just concerned with the manufacturer according to this keep the trailing and uh, edge what you need to do here you need to just leave it as default as it so it is the basically a trailing and uh, leading edge uh, like what 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 are, what are the reference position for the trailing and le leading edge so it is selected as default and the coordinate position so reference of absolute or is origin or uh, relative origin so in my case it is absolute origin there is an others option the optimize change location command generates separate ncdl file for plated and non-plated holes we have to tick that file 
So like in my case, the manufacturer wants the plated and non-plated files uh, like separated, right? So in your case, it may be different. Generate the EI binary file or .DRL file. We don't need. Uh, in your case, maybe manufacturer like demands the DRL file for the drills, right? So just ask to the manufacturer like they want the DRL file or not. So in my case, it is just okay. Now the, uh, I will go going to click on the OK button. So now we'll, it will create the drill file. Yeah. So drill file is already created. So in the, this particular uh, like ca ca cam file, the all the drill file are mentioned. Either it is plated or not, right? And uh, just in the project output, uh, we have successfully created a plated and non-plated text file, right? So the drill files are in the form of .txt extension. So yeah, so we have created all the files. 